Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Is it Wednesday and I forgot that Lunch Bunch was today and not tomorrow? Yes, we have to go. We had lunch at Blueberry's Grill. Roland's here. Bev and Lindsay are here. And they're, they're playing, um, they're playing Freebird, so I gotta stop. <laughs> After Lunch Bunch, we came back home and we got a ton done. Um, I have been working on multiple vlogs. I got a ton of vlogs done tonight. And Mal finished up her painting. Um, in October, she was working on a Banjo-Kazooie piece, which ended up being her <laughs> her longest piece ever. It took her over 55 hours to paint that thing. And actually, it didn't come out until November because it took her so long to do. And then in November, we've had a lot of other stuff to do, and I've needed her for things like sunshine and stuff like that. So uh, she needed to paint something that was going to take her less time. And she decided on Kohelet Island because we just did... Link's Awakening. So uh, this is this. I don't want to call her like, call this like her style, but she's done a lot of um, really pretty sunset scenes in some of her paintings, and I think it was really cool to bring that to Link's Awakening because in a lot of the official imagery that you see, even from like the Game Boy Color version or the original Game Boy version, like they don't really do this sort of thing, um, like this color scheme, like a sunset is not used. So it's really beautiful. And I'm glad that Mal decided to uh, to tackle this, and she did it very quickly, which is good, because this is not the only video she's going to be finishing today. We're getting ready to start on another video, because you may notice that in this room the painting is here, but none of the other equipment is in here. There's no lights, there's no camera, and that's because they're all out here. On Tuesday's breakfast stream, Mallory decided to announce that uh, she'd really like to do a uh, cooking video. And that's not a huge surprise because she's wanted to do one for well over a year. She's talked about it. And we've made the joke of, haha, Mal bakes instead of Mal makes. But the truth is, the channel is called Mal Makes. It doesn't necessarily mean that she has to make art. She doesn't have to make paintings. And she's wanted to do, to do a cooking video for a long time, and she thought this would be the perfect opportunity. She's got to make some pies for Thanksgiving anyway. Why not do a cooking video about making a pumpkin pie? Because that's the easiest one to start with. Because that's easiest, sure. The problem was, whenever she announced this on Tuesday, I'm thinking, okay, but I'm the one that sets up all of your video stuff. And it's not that Mao is completely incapable of doing that, but that's not her forte. She's the talent. She paints. That's what she does. I'm the one that generally sets up all of her videos. And I was like, this is going to be different because the studio is a studio environment. It's where we do all of her stuff. It's always set up. Whenever anything moves, it requires completely rethinking everything. So that's what I'm doing. I'm completely rethinking everything. Fortunately, I got so much done today that I feel confident enough to like help her and get everything set up so we're gonna we're gonna set up these lights in such a way to make the kitchen look as good as we possibly can and uh we're gonna make we're gonna make a cooking video today and it's gonna come out on Mount Mix in December and I'm I'm excited I'm a little nervous because this is different for me we're also shooting in the kitchen which means there's all sorts of other considerations like noises. We're gonna have to unplug the refrigerator, which means we're gonna have to remember to replug in the refrigerator. Fun, fun challenges. Our next ingredient is salt, and I'm gonna measure out a half of a teaspoon. And in order to make sure I have the right amount, I tend to pour a little bit into my hands and then measure it from here so I can make sure I have the right amount and not pour too much extra accidentally into everything else. Sometime later, Mao has a pie. But more importantly, Mao has a video. Mao finished... Uh, I think the pie is the exciting thing. Disagree. I mean, I'm also, I'm also biased towards that. But yeah, you, uh, you finished your first cooking video, and that's like a big deal. Yeah. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Good. Good. The, uh, this was a big test for me. Um, I really did my best to make this as good as possible to see what sort of effort it would take to do something like this as good as possible. And like, we don't have all of the perfect equipment to do something like this. Like in a smaller studio setting, it's a lot easier than trying to do the kitchen. Um, one of the things I struggled with at the beginning was like, I was going to turn off all the overhead lights because they're a different color temperature. And 
there we just don't have enough lights to light the kitchen in a way that makes it look not insane because otherwise you just have lights on Mao and then clearly the kitchen lights are off and it's like why are you cooking in the dark so um I was like, I guess we'll just leave them on. So that was that was one of the, the initial struggles that I had. But, you know, two cameras set up. Um, we'll try and match them and post the best we can. Three cameras, technically, because we use this one to get the shot of Mal putting the pie in the pie oven. In the oven. Mm -hmm. So there's technically three cameras used on this. Uh, and we used Mal's lights and Mal's uh, boom. Uh-huh. Her, her camera, the GH4, was the... Uh, the B-roll. Yeah, the B cam, and then the A cam was the Black Magic, um, and yeah, I mean it worked out pretty well. I had I also brought down another light in case I thought we were going to use it, but we didn't. Yeah, once it gets into you know, once we get it into the timeline and play around with it, we'll find out exactly what it looks like. But for now, I'm I'm glad that it's done, Mao, and I know that you feel good because. This helps you. Yeah, a lot. A lot, actually, because not only did Mal finish her painting for November, this video will be the... December. December, middle of the month video, because she's been doing um, te teaching videos, like uh, educational painting videos, but she can release this instead as a nice little test, which means that after Thanksgiving, she has the entire month to focus on her December piece. Yeah. And to slowly but surely start to get ahead and make yeah. 2020 a better year for you. I hope so. Because I know that that's one of your big goals is to... Now I have to make two more pies. Yeah. Yeah, no rest for the weary. Um, I think I, however, am going to bed. Okay. I'm, I'm tired. Um, I was up late on Saturday, and I don't want to be up super, super late again. And uh, we have breakfast stream in the morning. But good job, Mal. Thank you. Good job, and um, I'm happy to have helped. Uh, this is something I know you've wanted to do for a long time. Yes. So, like, the fact that we did it is kind of exciting, like, for me, too. So, I'm glad that we did it. I'm glad that, uh, you know, and it, I don't know when we'll do the next one. We'll, we'll see how hard it is to edit and what people think, what the response is, but... Yeah. We'll just, we'll go from there. But good job Thanks. tonight. You did... Uh, you did good, and the pie smells delicious. Honestly, it makes me um, makes me excited for tomorrow. And pumpkin pie is not even one of the ones I eat. <laughs> if you if you got me thinking about it like that, then I can't wait to see what the apple pie is going to be like. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?